Hello everyone and welcome to Ivy's Coupon Cap. Where you're gonna get savings, budgeted, coupon, and quick DIYs all in one. If you want to know five proven techniques that I use to build an efficient stockpile as a beginner, then gather around the campfire with me. So guys, grab a pen and paper and start jotting down some notes because I wrote them down and that's why I'm behind the scenes because I want to show you also my stockpile at home. And the reason why I'm stressing at home because I do have a stockpile in the storage that we utilize once we downsize and decided we need to put our kids' dirt bikes in. My husband got a car put in one in the storage. So I decided to use part of it as a uh, extra storage space. So for one, the first tip that I want to give you is inventory what you need in your house the most. Now let's start at the top. The way you're going to do that is go around your house. See, what is it that my family is using a lot of? We already know it's going to be body wash, soap. It might be fabric softener. You might be gathering up medicines. Uh, efficient things like dishwashing detergent, dish tablets, deodorant, mouthwash, toothpaste, body wash, all of that. You want to make sure, see how much you're buying of it. If you're buying this every month and it's, you know, every two weeks or every week and it's starting to get redundant and you want to know how to stop doing this, then you need to start a stockpile. And this is the first thing as a beginner that I did was I didn't do that. So I had to wait about uh, six months in and then I decided, what am I doing wrong? I never inventoried my house to see what I needed. So now you see me inventory. So like I said, you first tip is that's inventory. Go around, see what you need. The essentials are always things that you're going to need all the time. Tip number two, decide how much of an item you need. Now let's go back to my stock pal. I'm going to start, I'm using mine as a reference because this is truly how I stock it. Now I see the toothpaste, the toothpaste I decided for every one person I need at least two of them for. So it's five people in our house so I will go two, four, six, eight, ten and then two extra. So that's in case I can't get to the big storage and get something out. I know I got extras to hold me over. Okay. Then I decided what mouthwash. I have two, four, six, eight, and then two more in the back. That makes 10 mouthwashes. Now, I really don't have extra mouthwash here because these are huge bottles. And I usually be the maid to my storage by then to grab more of it. But just try to at least do 10 or however, or you could do numbers. If you are a number person, then say, well, I need 10 things in my house, 10 of each item in order to build my stockpile. Now, when I say it's 10 of each item, let's look at the deodorant. I use Mitchum and then a special deodorant. Now, if I do 10 of each item, I could mean I want two of these for myself and then my husband used degree. We want to make sure he got at least two of these, have, I'm sorry. Then the little ones, the little ones use, two of them use deodorant. So I usually get a light one for them and each one of them is going to have a deodorant. If you want to go more technical, here toothbrushes. I do two of each toothbrush and then two extras. Now, let me tell you something about your stockpile. You should always have that separated from what you're going to donate. That means family members come over in need. You give to your children or your mom or parents and what you're going to sell if you're going to be selling it. Okay, but that's another video and it's a great one. Okay. Now, what will you what will your stockpile be used for? 
Will your stockpile be used to to for your home, or will you be using it for profit or donations? Now I see a one couponer. It's called Couponer for a Cause. She donates lots of hers, and it is so. I've been watching her so long, and I am so proud of her because probably as long as I've been couponing, I see her, and she donates tons of stuff. I'll link her below. Okay, now the next thing we're going to go to is <clears throat> if you're doing for stockpiling for profit or donation, then I would say start using bigger numbers. That means you got to work harder. You got to get to what you need. So I'm, I'm trying to paint. I'm panning around, guys, with my tripod. So just hang on tight, okay? You'll see. That for each, remember I said each person, so you see my detergent? I have six of those. Gangs. See the per seal though is back there. And I got six of those. Now I only have two of the per seal pods. Then my bleach, I have one, two, three, four, five bleaches. Ajax. It's, it should be six or seven of those. And then Arm & Hammer is five of those. But all of my giant bottles, most of my big bottles, when you start in your stockpile, don't be a stickler to one thing. Because if you do, you're going to lose out on very good things you could be that you could put in your stockpile. Like those. If you see the, it's a video I posted, it was a glitch. Buy one, get two free. They made a mistake in Walgreens. I had in March. I grabbed as many as possible. Okay. Start, try and keep your stockpile stocked. Now. When, when do you want your stockpile to be completed? When I started this journey. I had my stockpile had to be completed within six months. So I got on the ball. I started knowing when to stock up. Right now. In Walgreens, Ajax is 99 cents. If you have register rewards, that's a stock up. Grab it. Now, when do you know when to stock up? Let me tell you what it is. This is it. When I first started couponing, I would buy toothpaste. As long as I got it for under 75 cents, I thought that was a good deal. But the, the light bulb came on when I got it for free. So you see this box of toothpaste? This is going to my storage. I do not pay for toothpaste, guys. So I always stock up on it. I have tons of it. I give toothpaste away. Deodorant. You see that? Now you saw I had some on the shelf, and here's a box. I give deodorant away. That's makeup. You're going to always stock up on little, you know, on things like that. It's going to be tedious. Remember the Walgreens Beauty event? There you go. Now, body wash. See the body wash? That's in that box. I have so much body wash in my storage. But you all know I love new stuff. So, let's go back. When we go to our body wash. Love and planning is kind of new. This is kind of new. You guys know this is new. Because I was talking about buying this. And I was getting that for 50 cents. And I got tons of it. And then this. St. Ice which they got a deal going on right now in the newspaper. And, of course, we always get soft soap, bad three, get a $5 uh, registry or 5,000 points from Walgreens. That's always there. My lotion, I just want to go over my lotion. There you see the lotion is in there. Uh, shampoos. There's Pantene. I use a lot of Pantene, but I do have some stuff that went on sale. Look what I got gas for dollar ninety nine Nexus. Now y'all know that's never on sale. I put all of that like households, kind of like some medications. Um, I have that on stock. That's new for me, but you know why it's there, right? Since this quarantine, we need that. Had to. I made my own sanitizer. Here's the Purex. You'll see bags of it. All my cleaning products. Okay, so the next tip that I want to give you is five. This is number five, and then we're gonna go through the stockpile right quick. 
decide what's a good stockpile price. Now, like I said about the toothpaste, when I first started coupon, if I got toothpaste for 75 cents or 50 cents, I thought I was doing good until I got it free. Then I started learning how to stockpile it. Now, most of the time you're going to get those for 99 cents. You got to work out a deal for the game because game has become hard to get. Whenever it's 99 cent or under for any type of detergent, I use it as a stockpile. I stockpile it. All of these games right here, um, Dollar General, which I do couponing and I have videos, you'll see, hey, those were cheap. Persil, I've gotten Persil for, I think, a dollar. The big bottle right there, I paid a dollar twenty-five for the other one in the back. No, a dollar fifty. The other one in the back, about a dollar twenty-five. So I got those. Those bleaches, I actually ordered those bleaches online, and they was fifty cent a piece from Walgreens about a month ago, before the quarantine started. You all know what I told you about that, okay? Um, Walgreens, another Walgreens deal was with the. Nexus with was with the uh, these are band-aids and it's a bag of them Okay So once you decide what you're gonna do then Do that Okay, you want to always know when you could skip a deal. It's okay if you st Stop piling then you got you're gonna know. Hey, I can skip that because it'll be back around and I got enough to last me Okay, you, your thing is you don't want to run out. You don't want to panic. So here's mouthwash. And I'm going to show you how much mouthwash I got. See that? It's a box of mouthwash here. And then it's a box over here. And then I showed you on the shelf. That's another thing. Mouthwash. I don't pay no more than 50 cents for mouthwash. Yes, this is a bucket of pods. And let me tell you why it's in this bucket. Because I have another big tote of pods in my stockpile. That's why. And I'm taking that to the stockpile because I don't really use the stock uh, the pods that much. My husband does. Uh, me and to me waste detergent. So, um, Personal feminine products. Two boxes. Those are for my nieces. My brother has eight kids. Six of my girls. Listen, I, I just take boxes over there and give it to them. Guys, so let's go to, through the tips that we already did and let's see, make sure we didn't miss anything. So number one was inventory what you need most in your household. Number two is decide on how much an item you want in your stockpile. Okay, give yourself a number. What will your stockpile be used for? Home or will it be home, used for both? House, sale, or and donate three things. I always, always donate. Number four, well, that's number three. Home, then you can do each person or two per person. Income, then you want to get your numbers bigger. And how much, what's your goal on what you want to do? And like I told you, that's another video and it's a great video. So I got some quick tips at the end for you also. Number five, Decide what a stock good stock power price is for you. Now let's go over here. This did not become a prized possession until the pandemic hit. See my now in my house, I always talk about I can only use Scott because I have a septic tank. Okay, and other tissue clogs it. So when you see me buying like that, that's for my mom who lived down the street from me. Um, I make sure I give her what she needs because I don't want her out. Uh, that's my fur babies. Uh, some of the food got put over there because we was kind of winging it. And then paper towel. And then Sherman is for my daughter. And I, now this is the only time I stockpile for people in my family. Okay, other than that, I do not snatch from my stockpile to sell. Don't ever do that. So, you can do this, you could, guys, and build effective stockpile. Beginners, this is perfect, perfect, perfect to build a stockpile with. Now, the two tips that I got for you 
tip. The first one is when you go and inventory your list, see everything you got. First thing you should do is take out what you don't need. Take out what you don't need. Like if you buy a certain toothpaste and you don't like it, I never buy that toothpaste again. See this? I bought that. It's disgusting to everyone in our house. We will never buy that toothpaste again. So when that when that deal come around, even if I can get it free, eh, if I can't donate, if I don't get to donate it, then I won't buy it. I never get, buy what you need. Buy what you need to build effective stock out. That's what I did. I had to know when to not buy. The second tip is, if you see, I told you that tip, so I'm going to see if you remember again, but if you see a detergent that's on sale for 99 cents without a coupon, anything, grab it. Ajax is coming back, guys, and that's why you see it at 99 cents. But this is the thing. Once they decide that it's sold enough and they feel they can build a profit, it's going to go up. It's gonna, The price of it is going to go back up because Ajax used to be out when I was little. I have ways for you all to build an efe efficient stockpile also to sell, which is bundles. You all should stay, be looking out for a video on that. But if you all like this video and you thought the tips was great and you're going to use them efficiently, then drop me a comment and let me know what else you want to see a video on, guys. This is from 12 years now of couponing and I never panic. I always prepare. Okay, thanks guys for tuning in to Ivy's Coupon Camp. Hit like and subscribe if you and share if you like this video so we can help our people, guys. And I can help them build effective stockpile also. Thank you. Bye.